There was one woman racer in particular, Mae Cunliffe, who at the wheel of a three-litre Bentley broke the women's record at Chelsea Walsh in 1926. Ettore Bugatti famously described Bentley's three-litre engine as the fastest lorry in the world. Compared to his Bugattis, they were huge and heavy. They were also the cars that put Bentley firmly on the racing map. Hers was the only three-litre Bentley blower ever made, and I want to see it. Today, this car is still being thrashed round the race tracks by modern-day girl racer Rachel Singer. What is it you love about this car? I mean, what makes you want to drive this beast? It's very quick, especially for a three-litre. It's fun to drive. It's, it's a lot lighter than some of the big cars, but it, it keeps up with them pretty well. It, it looks like it was definitely built just for racing. I mean, this does not look like the kind of car you drive around town. No, it, I, I don't think it was built especially for racing, but yep. May Cunliffe turned it into a, a nice little racing car by putting the supercharger on the front. To keep up with the competition on the racetrack, some Bentleys were modified with superchargers or blowers, as they were sometimes known. Could you basically just tell us why the blower makes the cars go so much faster? Sure. So this was um, the height of technology at the time. Yes. What it basically does is gets more air into the engine, mm -hmm. which forces the engine to create a bigger bang. Yep. Makes it go quicker. Yeah. That's it in a nutshell. Double your war Bentley himself really didn't like them. Didn't. Tell us why he hated them. Come on. W.O. believed to go faster, you just needed to put in a bigger engine. Yeah. He thought putting a blower on the front would put more stress on the engine and they would go bang, which uh -huh. they did sometimes. So he didn't like them at all. He believed yeah. bigger engine to go quicker. He was kind of right in a way because even though the blower has this wonderful reputation, it, it never won Le Mans. No. Nope. It yeah. never did. It was the regular ones that won. And Rachel, how fast does it go? for all the anoraks in anoraks, the world. It'll get up to about 110, 115, but you've got to remember there are no front brakes. That's exactly what I'm just looking down there. There isn't any, and everything is stopped from the back. Well, I'll Can take we'll, that for a drive. Would you? Yeah. Ooh, you little, hang on a minute now, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful young lady offering me a ride in a beautiful red sports car made in 1923. How could I say no? Mademoiselle, please, you must to lead on. That's the best French I got. Right there. Right. This could be a very good testicle toaster if you're not very careful, okay? Magnetos. Magnetos on fuel pump on. Yeah. Oh, with great aplomb, I'm so impressed. I'm watching your feet, I'm seeing what you're doing, and I'm watching the hands. Get in, you little bugger. And you, by the way, everybody, if that doesn't happen to you when you're driving a Bentley, or you say it's never happened to you, well, you're a goddamn liar. I'm just looking at the lack of bricks. <laughs> It's quite unnerving. What a gorgeous noise. Listen to that noise. Oh, my God, I'm singing. I'm singing with that noise. From the heart. Beautiful. If there is a heaven, Rachel, I hope this is part of it. 